Hi. In this session, we will cover Azure Search and specifically cognitive search uh, capabilities of Azure Search. So first of all, uh, Azure Search allows you to analyze data from different data sources like uh, SQL database, Cosmos DB, Azure Blob Storage. And for some of the file formats, it also allows you to uh, acquire some additional attribu uh, attributes from these files, like PDF files, doc files, JPEG files. Uh, and uh, basically, it allows you to index data uh, from these data sources. And then uh, later, it will be, uh, you'll be able to apply search capabilities on top of it so that it's searchable from your application. Uh, when we talk about uh, cognitive search, additionally to uh, this step of IT person uh, providing access to data sources and also developer kind of describing uh, how application will handle this search request. So providing this interface for customers and business users. Also, there is additional step of creating cognitive skills, which is done, which can be done by a data scientist or person who is kind of responsible for acquiring some additional information from the data sources, uh, some additional knowledge. And this data scientist uh, creates cognitive skills, uh, which is, uh, which means that uh, uh, he or she will apply uh, different types of uh, transformation to data. For example, optical character recognition. When you have an image, you can acquire text from this image. If you have text, you can do things like key phrase extraction, uh, detecting people names, company names. Uh, you can apply sentiment analyzer to detect sentiment or computer vision to detect uh, what's in the image, what kind of objects are in the image. So this allows you to describe different images you have. And also data scientists can create custom models using Azure machine learning and things like Azure container instances, Kubernetes services, and so on. And also apply these cognitive so uh, skills to enrich uh, available files in different types of storages. Uh, then when you have all of these additional fields, uh, which means that you kind of have annotated documents, uh, you can create indexes on top of these uh, fields and uh, create indexers linking all of these new fields to the actual cognitive skills. And then um, your business users, your customers will be able to search also based to apply search based on these additional fields which were created using cognitive skills. This is an example of a sample skill set. So let's say that you have a content here, uh, some type of files, text files, for example, and you can detect the, uh, language, you can extract key phrases also using language information and extract or organization, and then you can have some additional skill set to get uh, internal organization ID. And also for images, you can um, apply vision APIs to detect what's in the image to add some additional tags for this image. And th this slide describes example of the hands-on uh, workshop. And I will provide links below to this workshop. So you will be able to actually uh, do this workshop yourself. Uh, idea of this workshop is that you, on the first step, you describe data source, which will be blob storage in our case, and then you create a skill set. Uh, so you create all of these additional uh, fields, uh, like organization, language code, pages, key phrases, uh, applying all of these skills on top of it. So you, from these documents, you create some additional fields, and then you create search index on top of these fields, and then you create indexer, which is, uh, create jobs to run the transformation, and it maps data source to skill set to the index. So let's see how it looks. Uh, and I will show you the virtual machine we use uh, in this scenario. First of all, in this folder, you can see all of these different types of files. So you can see that we have HTML pages, images, 
For example, I can see images with Scott Guthrie, with Microsoft uh, on the background. Uh, we have text files, we have image with Satya Nadella in some background text, which is Microsoft Linux. And also images like this, uh, which uh, contains a lot of text in it. Um, so this we will place to the blob storage, which you can see from the portal. In my case, I have a resource group uh, with this name, Knowledge Mining, which contains all of these uh, services which, we, which are needed for this scenario. So we have here Cognitive Services API, we have uh, Data Science Virtual Machine, which I will uh, show you in a minute, and also Blob Storage, which contains the files I showed you uh, one minute before. Let's see what we have in this blob storage. We have a container called basic demo. And in this container, there are different files, which I already showed you. So we will be uh, uh, creating indexes on top of this container. To create indexes, you can use uh, programs uh, like Postman to create all of this uh, REST API requests. And first step will be to create uh, a data source. So in the body of this request, so it will be post. Uh, here we have knowledge mining, uh, knowledge mining uh, basically Azure search service. And then uh, we are describing data source. And here we have information about this data source type, uh, connection string. So in the connection string, you will see uh, you need to describe the name and also the key for the service. And also, this is the name of the container we're using here. Next step will be to create a skill set. And by the way, this is also possible from the web interface, from the portal. But let's say that we're creating a skill set. Uh, so we have this uh, put a request for the demo skill set, uh, creating skill set, demo skill set. And this is a description of this skill set. So here you can see all of these uh, cognitive skills like OCR skill. So we're using these files from this uh, folder with this path and we're creating this additional output with the target name my OCR text. So it will, be, it will contain text from the image. Then we have a merge skill. Uh, so it will um, merge initial content with this OCR text, with this field, which we created on a previous step. Then we have skill set called language detection. So it also create additional field with the language code. And then we have Split skill set. So if we have pages with many, if we if we have file with text, we can split it to multiple pages, and so on. And in the bottom here, we have also reference to the cognitive services API with the key. Then next step will be to create an index. Uh, so in this case, we describe all of these different fields, which will which we will be indexing. And also, if this field will be searchable, filterable, facetable, and so on. Then we create indexer, which maps everything uh, together. So we have source file name, and which is basically the path to the fold to, to the files, and also target field name. So we're mapping all of these folders and field names. Uh, so when we created all of this, uh, when we send these requests. We can check status of the index. So it will be indexers, demo indexer status, get request. And it shows that it was created, uh, date of creation, and uh, some additional information about the, about the indexer and if we have any issues with it. So there are multiple war warnings here, but it still works. And uh, next one will be to query the index. For example, here we just, uh, we can see what kind of fields are available in the index. 
So all of these fields, all of these attributes, which we created on the previous steps. And then we can also post search re requests. So first one will be to search everything uh, by blob URI, uh, by organization, by, by language. So let's send this one and see what kind of files it, what, what kind of data it contains. So for example, for text files, we, we can see key phrases detected from these text files and uh, language code here and some other fields. For OCR request, we are selecting also searching for all of the files, but selecting my OCR text. So in this case, we will be able to see what was detected from the images. So from this form, we detected some information. Uh, there are some images with people. So with Scott Guthrie, it was able to detect Microsoft, Microsoft Linux. Uh, text on the image with Satya Nadella and so on. Um, this is how it works from the point of the view of the API itself. And uh, we can also use, obviously, uh, we are able to create applications using this REST API. Uh, in our case, it will be uh, application created using Bot Framework uh, version 4. Uh, so this is the application, and uh, we will talk about how to create bot applications uh, in the next uh, webcasts. But here we, we have a breakpoint which uh, basically shows us this search text which was posted from the bot. And uh, the logic is here on how you handle this request. So let's first execute it, and I will execute the bot emulator here. Uh, so we will be able to actually see how it works. So let's say hi to this bot. And it says uh, that uh, it can retrieve different fields from Azure Search. So let's uh, type search to show it that we want to search for something. And let's search for, let's say, Linux. So here is the breakpoint, and uh, here is the value of this search text, right? And then uh, below there is a logic of how it will handle this request. So this application is quite simple. Uh, it's just, it, it just show, it shows the result of the search and uh, key phrases and some other buttons allowing you to do some other things. Uh, but the logic is here, it, it's contained in this code, in this application. So you will see this phrase, for example, in our application. So let me execute it. Uh, let's continue the execution here. And let's return to our bot framework emulator. So uh, it returned different files here. So it returned uh, uh, image with SQL Server on Linux, JPEG. It shows different key phrases detected from the image, and you can search for something else and help. So this is a logic which is contained in the bot itself. And it shows some other files here, like file with Satya Nadella and Linux, which we saw previously. It shows HTML files, doc files, with some data related to Linux. So this is how this application works. There is a link below this video which will allow you to uh, create this application and to create these indexes and to try it yourself. Uh, last thought is uh, will be about global distribution. So in the case when you have multiple, like your employees or your customers are in multiple regions, um, because this is a cloud solution uh, and we have d data centers in different regions, it can handle the situation very effectively. So in this case, you create search indexes in different regions, uh, like North America, Asia, Europe. And also, you create your application in different regions here, right? Azure websites. And uh, when you uh, use a web browser and uh, work with this application, it will use Traffic Manager to actually uh, to select which Azure website will be uh, used to host this application 
and it will be close to the actual index uh, of the Azure search. So this is how it's optimized using cloud. Let me know if you have any comments on this scenario. Once again, it was a demo of Azure Search with cognitive search capabilities. And in this case, we, we used uh, some of the cognitive skills from uh, cognitive services. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and if you want to go deeper into any of these topics or if you want to discuss any other topics. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.